Welcome back to the CSC Garage. I'm Matt and today we're going to be showing a video how to change the brake pads on your CSC e-bike. Thankfully we have James, our resident expert, to show us how easy that can be. Let's get started. Hello folks, this is James. Today we're going to learn how to change your brake pads on your CSC bike. The tools you're going to need today are going to be a 5mm Allen, a 3mm Allen and a pad spreader or a flat blade screwdriver to retract the pads back. The way you tell that uh, you may need new brake pads is going to be that you may develop more brake lever play on the handlebar. Also a visual inspection will also tell you just by looking down at the caliper and taking a look at the brake pads. Of course you have to have reference when you get the new pads to see how much meat there is on, on the brake pads. Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the caliper and you use a five millimeter Allen to do that. You'll be removing the top and the bottom bolt. Remember to keep the, the washers all in the same order. So when you take off the bolts, you'll be taking them off with all the washers together and such. So you got a long bolt there and then the bottom bolt is slightly shorter. Make sure you don't mix those up. After the caliper is off, you want to make sure you retract the pads so that they're all the way back there. Yours are, your brake pads will probably be a bit worn. These are nice and fresh. So the old ones, you back them up all the way back with a pad spreader or, or a screwdriver, a flat screwdriver. And after you have them retracted back, you're gonna take a, a three millimeter Allen and you're gonna loosen this bolt that's holding the brake pads and the brake spring that's in between the brake pads, which is a silver piece here. So we'll first take the three millimeter bolt off there like so. And then we'll just push this, uh, push this down and they'll come out the other side, like so. All right, now we're going to put the brake pads back into the, into the caliper. And what you do is you're going to put the, the pad spring in between the pads, like so. A little sandwich there. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of room there because we moved back the, the pads from the, from the get-go, so it'll be easy to just drop them in there. See like that. And then you just kind of turn them around. You'll see the pad spring isn't down in the middle. And then again, we'll, we'll just put the bolt back on. Three millimeter bolt. And then retighten. So now the pads are back in the caliper. Okay, now what you want to do, you want to uh, put the adapter, connect the adapter to the, the caliper. Make sure that uh, the up is on the upside, so up on top there. And very important, you want to make sure that the long bolt, with uh, all the spacers that are, that you are still on the bolt, make sure that the long bolt is up on top. Just put it right there. Now you put the bottom bolt through the caliper and through the adapter onto the onto the fork. You're gonna tighten these bolts just so they're slightly still a little loose. Don't, don't tighten them all the way down yet. So So you'll see that the, there's still a little bit of movement here. You want a little bit of movement. All right. The reason you're gonna want the, this caliper a little loose is because now the next thing you're gonna do, um, you're gonna center it. And the easy way to center this 
is you actually just clamp on, clamp on the brake, hold it, and it'll usually center itself. So we're gonna clamp it. You can see that if I was to move it, you'll see as soon as I clamp it, it's gonna move a little. So tight, clamp it a little, hold it, and then tighten it. Both should be fairly tight. They don't have to be super tight, but just fairly tight. So after you tighten it, then you let the brake go. And it seems to be centered. You can also, if you were to look down the middle over here, you can see it's centered. So there should be a little bit of space on each side. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see, but that's pretty centered. And that's how it's done. Uh, keep in mind this procedure it works for all of CSC bikes, you know, either a Shimano brake or, or a Tektro brake, front or rear, uh, they, they're all the same. In fact, they use the same brake pad across the board. Thanks for joining us again here at the CSC Garage. If you need any brake pads, parts, or accessories for your CSC e-bike, be sure to check us out at csc-ebikes.com. And remember, enjoy the ride.